competition. There's only one more day till it begins. Ooh, hip hop music. Now that would be a cool dance to learn. Come on, everyone. Give it a try. It's called popping. without music. We need to find music. Um, uh, hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. but we broke our stereo. We need to find a place that plays music so we can learn a dance routine. Oh, I love dancing. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, pirate planet. A pirate adventure would be exciting, Orbit, but it's not the right place for practicing a dance routine. Oh, I really like playing board games. Board game planet sounds like fun, but I don't think it's the right place to find a music player, TK. What about this planet? It looks and sounds like it might do. You chose music planet, <laughs> the perfect place. Get ready for countdown. choose from. Emma's right. We'll just keep searching until we find one that suits your cool wheel. But we only have one day to the competition. There's not enough time. Come on, we'll find something we can all dance to. Ooh. 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 Ooh, the macaroni. I love this one. Come on, everyone, get off your seats and try it with us. Ready, everyone? Here we go. Raise your right arm up. Now your left. Right hand on your tummy, and then your left. Right hand behind your head, left hand behind your head. Now, wiggle your body like a noodle. Right hand on your bottom, left hand on your bottom. 
bottom. Swing your hips to the left, then to the right. Yay! Ah! Whoa, whoa. TK, are you all right? That's it. I quit. I'm terrible. I'll never be able to dance. But TK, we can't enter the competition without you. <sighs> TK, I promise we'll find a dance that's perfect for you. You'll see. Let's try this record player. Hey, check it out! Rock and roll box! I love rock and roll! Rocky, rock, rock, do! Wobby, 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 do! Everyone shake your head! Tummy trunk we could use? Hmm. Uh, hmm. One little balloon won't be enough to lift you up. Oh. Hmm. Aha! This trampoline would bounce you high enough to reach, but it wouldn't be very safe. Aha! A car jack. It's used for changing flat tires. We can use the jack to lift you up. to choose from. Oh, this one sounds like fun. It's called the Robot Boogie. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we were trying to find a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. So we traveled to the Music Planet. There were all sorts of music players, and each one of them played a different style of music. We learned so many cool new dance moves. We needed to find a dance that would work for all of us. We then tried a dance called the Macaroni, but without hips, TK couldn't finish some of the moves. She was getting very discouraged. So then we tried dancing to rock and roll. 
all of us really liked it. But I got a little carried away and hurt my foot. That's when we found an old jukebox. We never gave up. And guess what? We found the perfect dance for all of us. The robot dance. Good mission, Rob. Well done. We'll be just in time for the dance competition. And a buckle up. Five. I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? You can have mine! <sighs> no, not even cymbals. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. for us to pick a planet. an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo I. I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Monkey spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma, book planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet. That could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Stop the band planet.
try something else. <sighs> bad, bad, huh? Hey, what's that? That's a saxophone. It's a woodwind instrument. Wood? But it's made of brass. It's called a woodwind instrument because it has a wood reed that you blow into. <gasps> Uh, that's not the way it usually sounds. Here, let me show you. Would anyone mind if I switched my kazoo for a saxophone in our band? Uh-uh. No problem. Let's keep looking. It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder. Like this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, Emma, are you okay? That was awesome! Do you think I can play that? Give it a try and see. your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey! This looks cool! <laughs> it's a drum set! I've always wanted to try one of these. Ooh. Hey! We're the drumsticks! We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! Yeah. That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La 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 That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you! I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right! Great idea! Do you think it will work? Of course! Your singing is great! Oh, I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go!
Mission Control? <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Bad Planet! Ooh. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> Zulu Wing Wing, TK. Huh? Zulu Wingy Wingy? Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet. Greetings, 
space friends. I am the language librarian. How may I help you? Uh, hi. Um, my friend TK wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful! What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes! We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ...shelved. Oh dear, it seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait! There's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! There he is, over there! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Jonah! Hmm. Oh, no! Hmm. He's a speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry. We'll catch him. Right, Emma? <laughs> Clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Talking book. A Spanish talking book. Me. What a great way to learn a language. Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> he sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. This should work. Mm. Mm. Still not loud enough. Aha! Mm. That's pretty loud. I'll huh? say. Huh? Please, you must be quiet in the language library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you, and he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies, usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf, and that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. <laughs> says good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Hmm. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes. This is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun. And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... 
Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Zula Wingding, hello. Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah. You did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanian. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa. That's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Galactic Space Olympics are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100 meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just gonna stay in the rocket and play with my new toy. Oh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring planet, that looks like fun. It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Pillow planet, it's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports planet! That's perfect! Yes, the sports planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! Six, five, 
Next stop, the Sports Planet. Everybody, what's the most important thing to remember about sports? It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're going to lose. You just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> Yay, TK! Great jump! Woohoo! Wow! That's amazing! Your turn, Orbit! Come on, you can do it! <sighs> left to try. Sports. I should give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? <laughs> oh no! We're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. A string? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I can fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun.
lot harder than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Sports Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. Thanks. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Sports Planet! Feeling well. Hmm. I think I must have come down with. Uh, 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 ah, 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 Sorry, everyone. Maybe you picked up a space virus. TK, you should sneeze into your arm. You'll make Orbit sick sneezing on him like that. <sighs> I, I, ah! Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Yicky. Yicky is right. We need to get you some help. We sure do. And that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We think TK might have caught a space virus. We need to get her some help. Ah oh, dear. Poor TK. We'll find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet! Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it planet! That's it! That's where robots go when they're sick. The perfect place. Now get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
Next stop, the Fix-It Planet. On, TK, I think the fix it clinic is this way. Nice, it's here. Wow, huh? Ooh. Huh? Uh, don't you mean wow, it's nice here? Orbit, are you feeling okay? Mm. <laughs> has turned you blue. <laughs> Are you okay, TK? <laughs> Will you get clinic to the end you'll soon better be? <laughs> what did you say? I know, don't. My words coming out funnier. No, oh, no, oh. Ah! What's wrong with him? Ah! I don't understand what he's saying. He must have caught TK's huh? space virus. Eee! Ah! Orbit, now you need to get to the clinic too. Huh? Like you caught the space virus too. Hmm. Uh, ah! <sighs> Our mission is getting bigger. We need to get all three of you to the clinic and fast. Don't worry, Rob. I'll help you. All of you. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Thanks, Emma. You got us here. Good, that's not. You know, maybe we should just go. I'm not sneezing all the time. Maybe being sick isn't so. Bad. So, how are they gonna fix us? I mean, are they gonna take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I help? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing, and Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently, but lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up. Oh, and it's fun! 
There! You see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. You sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Caught a nasty space virus. Uh, 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 choo! Uh, choo! So we went to the Fix It Planet to help TK feel better. Uh, 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 TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic when I caught the virus, too. We were nervous to see the doctor, but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fix It Planet! and we all need to look our very best. Now, where did I put the camera? Ha <laughs> ha! It's time for us to... 
Pick a planet. Up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. Ooh, what about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! For Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk, and if she can't walk, Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Oh, uh, it sure is. <laughs> okay, what's next? We need to find some more parts, bulky parts. Oh, wait, being a robot sure is uh, fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. Ta -da! So, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's... Okay, uh, you wait here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes or something. Oh, boy, I thought for sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? Machinery orbit. It can be very <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> oh no! My nose is itchy. Some metal 
You were loaded with metal. Ah. Emma! So itchy. Almost got it. Emma! It's no use. She'll never hear us. Huh? We need something to help us get Emma's attention. Nope, not loud enough. Nuh-uh, still not loud enough. What about this? A megaphone! Perfect! On the count of four, everyone. One, two, three... Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us, so we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal, like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Goodbye, Spare Park Planet! That's fantastic. Huh? Huh? 
getting more paper to build a cool paper airplane sounds like a great mission. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. work. Wait, Emma. I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you... Then you. <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <sighs> this origami stuff doesn't work at all. Ta da! Huh? Cool! <gasps> How come mine didn't look like that? Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. <laughs> Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Origami is too hard. 
It is hard, Emma. You need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Neo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Neo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Yet, I've got an idea. Uh, uh, uh. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go. Uh, uh. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> and now that I know how, I can make a paper airplane. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. <laughs> to the space fair. Kiki's got the tickets. I sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space 
ice creams and rides? Rockin' robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space barrel like this, can we? We'll need to get him cleaned up. And then we'll go to the fair. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. can I help you today? We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Book Planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus Planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The Scrub-A-Dub planet. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, the Scrub-A-Dub planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak and the Super Sudzer. Next, it's the scrubbers. 
should turn it off. Oh no. I think I broke it. The switch is stuck. All that's left are the buffers. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubbadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the Super Sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. We learned that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Hi, everyone. 
you got there, Rob? It's a mouse house. Oh, did you make it for Squeak? Shh. For Squeak? Yes, I just used cardboard and some tape. Only, I'm not sure Squeak will like it. It's kind of plain. Hey, is that for Squeak? Huh? Yes, it's a surprise. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? I like it, but it is a little plain, I guess. And kind of small. Yeah, huh. that's what I thought. You know, we could help you make it fancier. And taller. And more fun. Maybe together we can make a whole new mouse house. A bigger, fancier, fun mouse house. That sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Make a great mouse house for Squeak. That sounds like a super mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Ooh, the tree planet. That looks like fun. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't want to build a tree house. Mm. The cheese planet. That's Squeak's favorite. <laughs> True, but if we make him a house of cheese, Squeak might eat it. The craft planet, that's perfect. <laughs> yes, the craft planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. an expert at finding things. Huh? This way, he won't see it and ruin the surprise. Uh... Good thinking! Okay, let's get started. Hmm. I think we should make Squeak's house long and wide, like a big block of cheese. I was thinking it could be tall and shiny, like a tower. Oh, I like that idea. A tower? I thought we'd make it more fun, with lots of colors. Yes, something fancy. Tall and shiny sound better to me. Me too. Okay then, here's what we'll do. TK and I will make a mouse house, and Orbit and Emma can make one too. And then we'll see which one Squeak likes better. You're, You're on. on! Well, at least that's one thing we can all agree on. <laughs> So how tall should we make it? Really tall. Yeah. Hmm. We 
can stack these boxes on top of each other. We're gonna make the tallest, coolest mouse house ever. You got it. I think we could build a really fun mouse house with these craft sticks. Hmm. But why live in a house when you can live in a palace? That's it! We'll make our mouse palace even bigger and more colorful than their mouse tower! <laughs> huh? They're making a palace! A mouse palace? Well, we're making a mouse tower. And it's gonna be the best mouse house because we'll make it even taller! Time to get rockin', TK! for Squeak to see out of. I bet Orbit and Emma didn't think to add one of those. Mm -hmm. uh. 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 Oh. Uh. Ours is definitely taller. <laughs> but ours is much fancier. Ours has two flags. But ours has lots of colors. Well, we'll just have to let Squeak decide which mouse house is best. Although, I think I know which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Huh? Let's move it into the rocket. I can't wait to show him. Uh-oh. It won't fit through the doorway. It's too tall. Oh, that's too bad. I guess now he'll have to pick between ours and <laughs> ours. Come on, Emma. Let's go show Squeak his new mouse house. Uh, oh, oh no! Be careful! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. I don't think we should move it. It's too delicate. Hmm. I can't believe we made our mouse house too tall. And I can't believe we made ours too fragile. What were we thinking? We turned it into a contest. Mm. I guess we got carried away trying to outdo each other. And we forgot all about Squeak. Mm. So now he doesn't have a mouse house at all. <gasps> Shh! Hear that? What move? It's Squeak! He's asleep in Rob's mouse house. I told you he's an expert at finding things. I think he likes the house you made for him, Rob. I guess he doesn't need a tower. Or a palace. Just a nice, cozy place to curl up in. I'd say it's mission accomplished. <laughs> or maybe just a small mission accomplished, but sometimes small is best. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Should have worked together as a team 
instead of turning it into a contest and trying to beat each other. But the good thing is, Squeak really liked the small mouse house that I made for him. He sure does. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Craft Planet! Hi, everyone. Wait till you see what I've got. It's a magic kit. I can use it to do all kinds of magic. Wow, really? Let me show you. Rob, you forgot the book. Oh, don't worry, it's the hat that we need. <laughs> For my first performance, I'll make something disappear. Uh, who wants to disappear? Orbit, how about your camera? Uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. Uh, Squeak? Squeak? Uh, Squeak? Squeak! What happened, Rob? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't learned the trick yet. I don't know how to find Squeak. Then what can we do? Maybe we just need a different kind of magic to get Squeak back. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up, but I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. planet. It didn't come with any wands. Don't worry. I think I can help with that. Hmm. No. A feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm. Aha! Spoon! Hmm. That 
that's not a wand. Let's see if it works. Not squeak. Rob, you turned squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean squeak is gonna be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, squeak. If you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh, hey, huh? look at this. What's this? It's magic cards. Here, look. Whoa. I love cards. They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card, any card. Guess what card you have? <laughs> really? Ooh. You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Ooh, a seven of diamonds. Uh uh. Uh, a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm. A two of clubs. Uh. I don't get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Rob, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Mm. Oh, I know. This one. Let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> Made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. <sighs> Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah, try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See, it doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is, <gasps> hold on, that's it. <gasps> hey, come back, I need that. Knowing how. That's the trick. Yay! 
I think this is a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? find a way to make Squeak reappear, but instead, he got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Squeak back to normal just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how he did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh no, that would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Star is in the house. Yo, 
And I'm ready, too. Jungle Explorer Emma is all set to protect the jungle and discover new worlds. And Space Sheriff Rob is fixing to keep that nasty space troll gang of outlaws from rustling our planet. There's nothing left for me. The dress-up trunk is empty. We can't do the play without you, TK. We have to find you a costume. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk. Of course. I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit. Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dopes! There's at least a hundred space trolls out there! But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit! Quick, saddle up your horse! My horse? Huh? Wait a minute! No one's capturing me! I'm going to have a concert! Those troll dudes are here for my show! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm Jungle Explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> Poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da -da -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean, these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. You're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Hmm. No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. No! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on the play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Me, too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> oh, no! Yikes. Oh. Space trolls! They found us! <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> we must protect the statue! A vast rock star orbit! Yes! Later, dudes! Everyone, hot tail it for the hills! Space Sheriff sure. Rob will keep him busy while you folks escape. Eat pillow, Space Trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheriff sure. Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Count me in, baby. Play. 
where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all together. Yay! Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater plant to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. And up, buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet. looking after her cousin Mia's space cat, Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three. A pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. Ew. Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The Pet Shop Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Thanks. Nice. 
stop the pitch of planet. things for every kind of space pet. I think this is the dog section. There's stuff for all kinds of dogs. Small, big, and really, really big. <laughs> These bones are all made of rubber. These must be toys. Uh, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> Bones are for dogs, not space cats or robots. Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Look like the space cat department. This must be for the P O U S S. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! Funny, but I don't think Violet wants a fishbowl or fish food. Closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Whoa! Get out of the way! Ah! Whoa! Yikes! Whoa! We've got to stop this thing. Yes, please. Was 
Isso. <risos> Uau! Violet really saved us. And she found a great toy. That's it. That's what Violet wanted. A toy. We really should fix that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there. TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh, Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer! TK, hurry! Please! Aha! This bolt is perfect! Say that's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? what Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Pet Shop Planet. Sounds like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. 
Yes, the Puzzle Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
TK said we need to make a pattern of three in a row. So if I put it here, three in a row, yeah. we win. Yes, Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your mission? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the puzzle piece prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, Sounds like fun, 
Let's see where you can go. The Toolbox Planet. I love tools. You sure do, TK. But we want to see jugglers. The Thimble Planet is a great place to go if we wanted to learn to sew. But we want to see acrobats. Oh. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. Yay! <laughs> Yes, the circus planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Strange. It must be the quietest circus ever. I don't hear a sound. What does the sign say, Emma? It's a rhyme. We're taking a break and have gone away, so the circus is closed uh -huh. just for today. We've worked so hard, it's for the best. Uh -huh. Please stay and play and be our guest. Rusty Robots! What fun is a circus planet without a circus? But the sign says we can stay and play here, Orbit. Maybe we can put on our own circus. Huh? That's a great idea, Emma. I could be the juggler. And as you all know, I could be the acrobat. And this is my chance to try walking on a tightrope up in the air. <laughs> what are you going to do for our circus, Rob? Uh, um... Well, um, it's a secret. Okay, then. Let's go see what we can find to use in our circus acts. <laughs> uh, what am I gonna do? <sighs> oh, hi, Squeak. Have you come to see the show? TK's gonna juggle, Emma's gonna be an acrobat, and Orbit's gonna walk a tightrope. What about me? Mm, I can't do anything. I can't juggle, I'm not an acrobat, and I can't walk a tightrope. You think there must be something I can do? Okay, let's go see if I can find something to do for the circus show. But I don't think there is. Hmm, Emma, TK, and Orbit must be back there getting ready. Should we take a peek? Ooh. Wow! <laughs> you think I should try to juggle like TK Squeak? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'd need a lot of practice to be a juggler like TK. Rope, but I think I can do this. I guess I need a lot more practice to learn to do that, too. You 
think I can do that? <laughs> hey, what happened? <laughs> I guess I need a lot more practice to do what Emma does, too. I'm ready to do my circus show. Me, too. And me, three. How about you, Rob? Uh, um, well, I'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'll just have to tell them the truth. I don't have any circus talent. I can't put on a show like they can. <sighs> you, you think I'm funny? Then maybe I can put on a circus show like the others. I can't be a juggler. I can't be an acrobat. And I can't be a tightrope walker. But I can be. did you learn on your mission? Mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye, Circus Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's going to read us a story from her favorite storybook. Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Is on 
almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. This is very sick. 
everywhere. But that's impossible. How can Squeak be everywhere at once? Chasing. It was other mice, too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the cheese planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five. showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use, and then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really 
really works. What else can I pin? painting with a color popper. Yeah, I look silly. We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, yeah. tasty in salads, but we'll go to the onion planet when we've got our colors sorted. like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the paint planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Popper in here. And. Uh-oh. We don't have any orange. Ah! The only choices left are black, white, red, blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. Blue bananas? How did that 
happen. Yellow strawberries? That painter robot must have a loose circuit. Strawberries aren't yellow. Let's fix the paintings for them. What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Here you go, Emma. <laughs> Fixed! Your turn, Rob. Try orbit. Hmm, grapes. They're not red or yellow or blue. They're purple. But we don't have any purple paint. Just like we don't have any orange. Uh, hey, look at this. Huh? Uh oh. This plant should be green, not gray. What do we do? We don't have any green paint either. There's no orange, no purple, no green. The only colors we have are blue and... Wait! You can make green by mixing blue and yellow. Robot and get you fixed up. Wait! What's going on here? We need your help. Our friend Orbit has his colors all mixed up. Uh. <laughs> he looks fine to me. But his head is pink. And his body is green. And his arms are purple. Are they? That's not what I see. Huh? What color am I? Yellow and green and a bit of blue. I can fix that for you if you like. Um, I think your goggles are dirty. They are. Uh. <laughs> no wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see, a toothbrush? No, that's too small for this job. Room? Hmm, no, too scratchy. Aha, a sponge. This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and ta-da! Voila, a masterpiece. Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? He needs orange paint. Hmm. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and... Yellow! Red and yellow make orange! That's it! I haven't mixed three colors yet. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. 
finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Goodbye, Pink Planet! Rah! Hi, everyone. Did I fool you? Come on in. You're just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible-tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orvid. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, but I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur, but I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay, then. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Tall 
as the rocket. Orbit, you should take a picture. Orbit, picture of what? <laughs> Orbit, we can have fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapults! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. <laughs> Rob, you're back. 
So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums. So that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, doggy! Goodbye, Museum Planet! Hi, everyone. Come on in. We're going to have a party to celebrate the anniversary of our first mission. I've got the cake. Yay! Check. <laughs> Emma has the milk. Yay! Check. <laughs> and Robin Orbit have the balloons. Huh? Uh, what balloons? Uh, didn't I ask you to get balloons for the party? No, you didn't, TK. Sorry. Oh, no. I must have forgotten. We can't have a party without balloons. Maybe there's still time for us to get some. Somewhere. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find balloons for our party. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. What about the art planet? That's a good place to decorate balloons, but I don't think we'll find any there. The onion planet? Hmm. I think that choice is a bit of a stinker. P.U. Now that looks like a planet where we can get some party balloons. Yes, that's the party planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
I almost stepped on this little green balloon. Hey, this isn't a balloon. It's an egg. What's an egg doing just lying on the ground? Shouldn't it be up in a nest somewhere? Maybe it's afraid of heights. Birds' nests are usually up high. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see the answer. A nest way up there. How did an egg from way up there get way down here? Beats me, Emma. But I think we have a new mission to get this egg back way up there. We should get something to carry it in. Like a basket. Come on, everyone, help me look. <laughs> get you back up to your nest. Whoa! Whoa. I sure hope I don't run out of balloons before we get to the top. trunk that can help. Huh? No thanks, TK. We're not hot. I know, Orbit. But we can use the fan like an airplane propeller. Now that's what I call a fantastic idea. <laughs> We're stuck. I can't use my hands and my feet. That's it, my rocket boots. They won't fly us to the top, but they'll get us unstuck. Hang on, little birdie. <laughs> I just hope you're not scrambled when we get you back to your nest. We're almost there. Just a bit. Huh? Uh-oh. Sounds like we sprung a leak. The only way to make us go up is to lighten our load. We have to throw everything overboard. Why everything? We're the only things in here. Not quite. Hold this, Emma. Actually, I've been thinking about losing a little rough ride. Tell me about it. Now you're back home, little birdie. Safe and... Huh? Hey, what are those little red eggs doing in the nest? I think maybe they belong here. And the green one doesn't. Mm-hmm. You mean it's some other kind of bird? <gasps> it 
It's not a bird egg. It looks like we have a new mission. To get this baby lizard back down where we found him. You can ride down in our balloon. No thanks, I'm walking down. I've had enough balloon rides for one day. Us too. Okay, don't forget. We have to collect all the balloons and bits, so no animals try to eat them by accident. Good thinking, TK. <laughs> Okay, TK, we picked up all the balloons. And all the stuff we dropped out of our basket on our way. Great job, everyone. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We went to the party planet so we could get balloons for our party. We found an egg, so it was our job to return it to a nest we saw way up on a tower of presents. But when we got it to the nest, it turned out we were wrong. It didn't belong there. We learned that not all eggs are bird eggs. Other animals like lizards are born from eggs too. And TK helped us learn that it's important to make sure broken balloons go in the trash so that birds and animals don't try to eat them and choke. Those are excellent lessons to learn. Well done, everyone. Time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, 